Hi you guys. I wanted to do a quick update. This is our view from one side of the house and I love it. Um, really quick, want to do this because I do not have internet or Wi-Fi yet. So, uh, energy mantra for this energy is I tune deeper in to my truest nature and remember I am not my mind. Now this is going to be very important because we have Mercury moving into the sign of Gemini in just a few hours from now and it's actually going to be in Gemini all the way through the first part of July. I don't have the exact date uh, with me. Um, so with this energy Mercury is ruled or rules Gemini and that means that this mental energy is going to be very intense. That plus a few other things that we have going on is definitely going to be like spiking that energy. So we want to be able to get beyond the mind. And actually, I pulled a few cards and one of the cards is like, you know, clinging to the past. Um, and this card, which I had in reverse, sorry, trying to juggle all the things, the harmony card, which was in reverse. So we really want to find harmony with our mind in this energy, but just realize that your mind, your mental monkeys are definitely going to be very stimulating <laughs> or stimulated. Uh, and they may turn into like the kind of flying monkey energy, right? So we wanna be very aware of this. Now, especially when Mercury shifts signs initially, it can kind of feel like a retrograde. Now we are heading into a Mercury retrograde, imminently, uh, but not yet. So we're not there yet, but if you have technology issues or communication issues popping up, give yourself more time to go anywhere, just weird things. For instance, um, our apartment that we just lived in we had a keypad on there and we used the keypad and did not lock the door when we left and the door is locked <laughs> and the people can't get in and we're like uh that's weird this is mercury it is mercury mischief and i can't tell the people like oh yeah this is mercury <laughs> the mercury mischief but you may find situations like that kind of popping up in and amongst this energy now besides this we have the moon in aquarius the moon in aquarius also spiking the energies and it will be connecting with Jupiter. Jupiter also finishing up in Aquarius. So while we may come up with genius ideas, it still may be very overstimulating. It can also bring on feelings of anxiety and ungrounded, ungroundedness uh, within you. So be aware of that in this energy and take some time and get outside, hear the crickets. Oh my God, I love these sounds here. I can't tell you, I'm so happy to be here. Um, Arkansas, in case you're wondering. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to mention? Yes, moon. The moon is going to go void of course in the day after making some of those connections. It's gonna move into Pisces later in the day and Pisces will square Mercury newly in Gemini. So we may have some confusing situations. This is where again, we need to find our personal balance, find that energy uh, within ourselves because it can get very confusing. It can feel like a crossroads. What am I supposed to do? I think that there's this overwhelming feeling of trust and knowing that things are okay, even if they don't necessarily seem okay in this moment. Do you see the little pink in the sky right there? How cute. Uh, <laughs> anyway, really being able to be present in that will support you in this energy. I will do a larger write up with this because I don't want to use all my data. Um, and then I'm sending you guys lots of love from the Ozarks. <laughs> and um, if you did reach out to me for a reading, I will be getting back to you ASAP. I have trouble doing emails on my phone, but I may have to for now. Namaste.